because um, I didn't do that. But now I'm here. I'm doing that. So let's go. Um, push pull legs. All right, so um, a few months back, I created a routine that had a lot of responses and a lot of review. And actually, there's a lot of people just like message me saying, yeah, I appreciate that you were able to kind of just like give us a general review of like an upper lower split. That was a few months ago. And that video was focused solely on like reviewing an upper lower split, what are the good parts about and what are the bad parts. At the end of the video, I was like, all right, so next video, I'm gonna make a push-pull routine and try to review it and see how it goes. Um, I didn't do that, but now I'm here. I'm doing that. So let's go. Um, push-pull legs. Overall, I think this is a really great routine for beginners, intermediate, and advanced. Um, there are different ways to approach it. You can do push-pull legs and take an off day on the fourth day and then do push pull legs again and take an off day. Um, I find that to be a bit of an issue. And, and that issue is like, some people just can't recover to that kind of stuff. Training six, seven days a week and then hitting the exact same body parts over and over again. Um, some people just can't train to that. Can't just, um, some people can't um, recover well from that. But at the same time, some people can and those who can, it works great. But if you're also a beginner as well, when you're doing a routine like that, it forces your body to adapt to whatever stress and stimuli that you're um, that you're giving it. So if you're a beginner, it may be bad, but like the more you get better, the better you get over time, the easier it becomes to kind of like adapt to that specific routine. And then you're able to do it without having to worry about recovery. So my issue with the whole push pull legs off push pull legs is some people might run into a recovery problem where others might not. And aside from that, this version of it is a really great routine to follow. I've tried this for a few months and I liked it, but there was one particular issue. I have a very dominant chest development that doing push pull legs like that tends to grow out my chest in an insane amount of way. And I try to avoid that as much as I can. I mean, you don't want to have too big of a chest or whatever, but like I try to minimize that as much as I can. And also doing like chest, shoulders, and triceps on the same day is a pretty good way to blow your triceps and your shoulders up. Like not blow isn't like in a bad way, but more like they will grow. They will grow ridiculously just of how frequently you're hitting it. So that's my pros on that. My cons, I, I don't like being in the gym five, six, seven days in a week. Like I'm doing it right now because I want to get ready for something and I want to kind of like bulk up and maximize everything that I need. But generally for people who just don't have the time to go to the gym six days a week, I don't recommend it. You can always do something a little bit lighter, kind of like a upper lower split <laughs> and that would work great for you. But there are ways to go on about creating this routine where you can have that recovery, where everything that you need will be where it needs to be and you don't have to stress as much. And if you have time, if you can make five days even, that would be perfect. And you could adjust that and fit that into your lifestyle. And that way to approach a push pull legs is to do it as in push, pull, legs. You take an off day and then you do upper body the next day and then lower body, then you take a rest day. So here you have two days within the week to recover, to figure out what you want to do and being able to get like better performance in the gym. So that's one way to go on about it. And again, also comes the idea of like, if you have the time to train um, four to five days, this is perfect. If you're somebody who just doesn't have, who um, doesn't have that time to train that many days, once again, upper or lower, you can maximize that as much as you can because it's very versatile, versatile to use as a routine. And, um, that is pretty much it for my summarization of a uh, push pull legs and how to go on about doing it. I mean, my only pro 
my, my only cons with that routine is I emphasize majority of my training on recovery and being in a stress-free environment where I can kind of grow. And I just feel like routines like push, pull, legs, off, push, pull, legs, which is not do it for me. Uh, push, pull, legs, off, upper, lower will do it for me because again, I have that like so many few days in between that I can recover for the next day. And again, based on your um, lifestyle and the way that your work and job, if you have kids and stuff like that, that's definitely a routine that might be a little bit difficult, a little bit challenging to follow. But again, you can always maximize it to something a little bit less complicated, like push for legs <laughs> off upper lower, or you can just do an upper lower split, or you can find some other routine that works. So that's generally all I have for that. But the one thing you guys have to realize when you're making a routine, like a workout program, you have to be able to take into account that like your work, maybe you work six, seven days a week. Would you be able to work out six, seven days a week while you're working six, seven days a week? Um, most people can't. Most people can. If they can, that's great. That's awesome. Like if you love to be in the gym that much, that's wonderful. Um, your overall, like your life, if you're dating someone, if you're in a relationship, if you are doing other stuff, you got other hobbies, you can't be at the gym six, seven days a week just to work out, even if it's just like an hour or two. You have to be able to fit whatever routine that you're doing to be able to fit your particular lifestyle so that way you're not stressing about anything. So if, if you're creating a routine and it fits your lifestyle, there's no stress. You will love going to the gym. You'll make time going to the gym. And you can also recover well because, again, it's based on your stress level. And if you can recover pretty well when you're doing a workout routine, you're going to grow well because there's less stress for your environment and you need to eat and all that stuff. But that's essentially it. Um, so might make the next video be about something else. I'm trying to figure out what that is. But if you like the information and you're into this particular niche that is focused on like fitness training and stuff like that, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Like, share, and um, just let me know what you think in the comment section as well.